Good evening to you, our gathered friends and supporters. My name is Douglas McCall, and I'm the director of Choral Activities. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to our spring concert, A Gift of Song. On behalf of West Liberty University and the Department of Music and Theater, I would like to thank you for attending tonight's event. Tonight we celebrate the arrival of spring in a night of music, talent, and passion. It is a beautiful season that brings warmth, new beginnings, and hope. Just like spring rejuvenates the world, music has the power to uplift our spirits and remind us of the beauty of life. Throughout history, we've seen music break down barriers, unite people, and communicate emotions that words cannot express. The music we will share tonight transcends language, culture, and nationality. It speaks to our hearts and souls, inspiring us to overcome challenges, cherish our relationships, and follow our dreams. As you listen to the music, I encourage you to let go of your worries and immerse yourself in the moment. Feel the vibration of the strings, the beat of the drums, and the melodies of the voices. Get lost in the stories the songs tell and let them stir your emotions. Tonight, we also celebrate the talent and dedication of our many performers. They have spent countless hours perfecting their craft, pushing themselves to new heights of creativity and expression. They have shown perseverance, teamwork, and leadership, and have become role models for their peers in the community. Furthermore, we would like to thank the amazing faculty here at West Liberty and mentors who have guided and supported our performers in their musical journey. Their passion, expertise, and enthusiasm have shaped the talents of these musicians and inspired them to pursue musical goals. In conclusion, I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let the music move you, inspire you, and bring you joy. Thank you once again for joining us for this beautiful celebration of music.
Okay. 
to introduce our student choral conductors, Alexis Scott, Charlotte Dotson, and Josephine Jarrett, who will be leading our choir in the next three selections. <clears throat> As student conductors, they have been working tirelessly with our choir, honing their own craft and perfecting their leadership skills. Though they may be early in their conducting careers, their passion and talent are shining examples of the future of choral music. Throughout rehearsals and the entire preparation process, they have shown remarkable dedication and leadership skills. 
Their unwavering commitment to excellence inspires the choir to continually strive for improvement, both individually and as a group. Tonight, we will have the pleasure of witnessing the culmination of their hard work as they lead our choir in stunning performances. With them at the helm, we are sure to be entertained, inspired, and moved by the outstanding music they will present. In conclusion, I want to thank Alexis, Charlotte, and Josephine for their dedication to the choral art. They are shining examples of what can be achieved when talent meets perseverance, and we are honored to have them leading our choir tonight. Please join me in giving them a warm round of applause as we welcome first Alexis to the stage. Hi, I just wanted to say how grateful I am for this opportunity to show off all of our hard work this semester and to show you all a song that has really grown to mean a lot to me and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.
checking the mic. Hello? Okay. Hello. <laughs> I talk loud, so. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you all for coming to support our choirs. My name is Charlotte Dobson, and I am a junior music education major guest conducting on this program. When I was told about this opportunity at the end of last semester, I shortly after had lost my grandmother to illness. One human experience we all share is the process of grief, as it is inevitable. I began my search for a piece that could even begin to describe what I was going through that could be meaningful educationally and relatable for the singers. After tirelessly searching, Shalom by Dan Forrest came across my computer. Peace was the furthest thing from how I was feeling. My testimony to the power of this peace is that I was able to find my own healing, all the while getting to do what I love most, teaching music. Peace is also the message I felt many needed, as well as we are all coming out of a pandemic and walking through a world of uncertainty. I hope those who need it find some healing from the music shared with you all this evening. I would like to take a moment to thank Dr. Douglas McCall for the given experience and his guidance. Thank you to all of the WLU music staff for your support and to my friends and family for being my strength. Lastly, thank you greatly to these wonderful singers and violinist Michelle Stack. These musicians have been patient and kind in my journey from student to teacher. It is not easy to be the test group for that, but they were flexible and encouraging throughout rehearsals. We all shared many laughs, learning curves, and tears in the process of this tender-hearted piece. Their hard work has been an inspiration to why I want to be a music educator. We all hope that you enjoy Shalom. Thank you.
nothing for these wonderful singers out here. And I really, really hope you enjoy the piece I decided to do for tonight, which is United on Purpose by my favorite composer, Rollo Dilworth. The intent was to have a live stream tonight, and thanks to modern technology and all the things that it gives us and taketh away, it wasn't working a minute before the concert started, so I don't know that he is with us, but he will get to watch this after the fact. A choir world premiere is a rare and exciting moment in the world of music. 
It's the moment when a brand new piece of music is being performed publicly for the very first time. The anticipation and excitement for this event can be felt in the air. The composer is often present, eager to finally hear their piece come to light. Um, I mean, as I jump. Thanks to the power of Zoom, we'll share this with him later. But we were also able to chat with Giulio and Tony, the composer and lyricist, and they provided us with a deeper context regarding the development of this artwork, and we hope to honor their vision tonight. My most profound thanks to Giulio and Tony for allowing us this opportunity. As the conductor raises the baton, the choir takes a deep breath, ready to begin. The first note is sung, and the world premiere takes flight. The audience holds their breath, waiting to hear what comes next. Every note, every chord, every emotion is brand new and felt in the room. This is a moment that will never be forgotten, a moment that will live on in the history of the choir. Performing a world premiere is an honor. It requires dedication, hard work, and commitment to bringing the composer's vision to life. The choir must be attuned to every nuance of the music, from dynamic shifts to phrasing to emotional expression. The performance must be precise, but also heartfelt and passionate. A choir world premiere is something that will be talked about for years to come. It is a moment that is captured forever in the memories of the performers and the audience alike. Whether the choral piece becomes a classic or something that is only ever performed once, a world premiere is a moment that represents the very best of the choral world. And now, we present to you, for the first time anywhere in the world, the choral work of Giulio De Carlo and Tony Silvestri, Forgotten.
two hours west of us. Thank you. to everyone who made this evening possible. First and foremost, I want to thank the talented choir members who performed so beautifully tonight. Their dedication, hard work, and exquisite musicianship were on display throughout the night, and we are truly grateful for their contribution to tonight's success. I also want to thank you, our audience, for coming out and supporting us tonight. It takes a village to put together an event like this, and it's humbling to see so many people come together to celebrate our love for music. We would also like to thank our audience for its support, encouragement, and appreciation of our musical endeavors. Your presence here tonight is a testament to the importance of the arts in our lives and our communities. With that said, we hope that the music has touched your heart and has lifted your spirits. We hope that you enjoyed the con concert as much as we enjoyed performing it for you. We look forward to seeing you at our concerts next year, where we'll continue to explore the power of music to heal, inspire, and bring people together. Please join us in the lobby for a small reception. There's cake. <laughs>
as has become our tradition since I got here, we're <laughs> all three semesters. Um, <laughs> we're going to sing the alma mater. Certainly, those of you, I know there's alumni in the audience. I saw you. You should absolutely stand up and sing your little heart out. And you can sing the parts, too, because I know you know them. <laughs> our alma mater. <laughs> 